Welcome to the Clock Angle Calculator for MassCelebrity.com. If you want to see the angle formed between the two hands of a clock, you can use this calculator. And there's two ways to get to it. The first is type Clock Angle Calculator, as you can see here on the list. But if you want to just run your problem directly in the search engine, you could type something like this. You could say clock angle between 240 or what is the clock angle between 240. Let's do um, 430 actually. Press the button. So we jump to our clock angle calculator and as you can see 430 was loaded into the input box. I'll expand the font. So what it does is it first figures out what's called theta for the hour hand and then theta for the minute hand and then it's going to take the absolute value of the difference and it's going to get 45 degrees but you could also go in the opposite direction if you want to go the opposite direction the angle formed between the two hands of the clock going the opposite direction is 315 the way we get that is 360 degrees in a circle minus 45 degrees is what was calculated the nice thing about this calculator is you can actually even go in reverse. So you could type in a degree measurement, let's say 75. As you can see here on the instructions, enter time on clock or angle in degrees. So we'll say 75. And what it does is it finds all the times on the clock backwards and forwards that equal 75. Well, there's two times on the clock. And what this calculator does is it actually gives you a link back to this calculator itself, but it runs the time of 3.30 and then 8.30. So we'll open this up. Expand this. So what it did, does is it runs the calculation in reverse and says, okay, 75 degrees and 285 degrees are formed at 3.30. So that's how we knew that this problem here used 330 and it does the same thing if you click this link for 830 so we'll click this link it runs 830 and it figures out okay it forms an angle of 75 degrees going one way and 285 the other way so that's how the calculator knew here's your two times that form an angle of 75 degrees on the clock so two other features we have on this lesson, a generate practice problem button, press it once, it'll generate a random time. Press it again, generate a random time. So you can kind of sharpen your skills as you go when you run out of problems in the book. The last is we have a clock angle calculator quiz. For more information on how to use the quiz generator, you can click the quizzes link. If you have any questions or enhancement suggestions, as usual, use the contact us link and let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.